subscribers! I hope that you all had a very good day and today we've got quite a podcast for you. My name is Abstract and I am a Free Fire Europe uh, caster and if you have been tuning into Free Fire Pro League and any, you know, uh, European style uh, tournament in uh, within Free Fire, you may have heard of me alongside with Tom Pickering and many other casters out there as well. I've got a fair share of experience. I've been in the stage for the Free Fire World Series as well, so it was a great time. And it was also a really big, big tournament, so a really huge shout out over to Garena. But today, I'm going to be in a completely different region as you guys can probably see because this is after all gonna be a podcast for the free fire emea invitational which will be happening on the 20th to 27th november 2021 i'm stoked about this because we've got quite something for you and i will have to introduce to you guys one of the very stable casters you guys have definitely heard of him before the one and only of course, we have Machiavelli! Hi, Survivors! This is Machiavelli. I hope you are all well. Thank you very much, Abstract, for the wonderful introduction. Please go ahead. Now, thank you so much. Uh, I do want to take this time and address this one little change here. I believe that the format has shifted, at least for the Free Fire EMEA Invitationals. So, what do you have for us, Machiavelli? Yes, this is where really a track which is very unique and very which is new for the Free Fire Garena, which is the head start points. So most of the viewers is go are going to say, ah, what is head start points? So basically, uh, abstract that you know uh, awarded to the top four teams of each day in the preliminaries. So it means every team can get a maximum of eight head start points so we are going to have like two days you know for the preliminary news which is if the first uh, uh you know place got uh, the four points is going to be with them for the next day so the total is going to be which is eight this is is going to be like a huge advance you know for the team to be like more challenging and to be like you know uh more let's say which is uh you know competitive uh, thing and also those points are going to be followed them to the finals so imagine this this is very unique this is very awesome yes right definitely not something that i was expecting um when it comes to rollover points so this kind of begs the question right yeah do you have to play aggressively in the games now because now that the game is pretty much split into half it's split yeah. into two right um you have the preliminary rounds and then you have the actual game itself so does it actually make sense for any teams to just go all the way and just reveal all their tactics just for these few points in the preliminary rounds? Yeah, this is exactly where it's going to be like more challenge because for example, like, you know, if, if there's like, uh, let's say if the team get first place, which is like, let's say in, on, on 21, so he just earned a full of four points, which is similar to a beautiful quadruple. This is going to be like a huge for the team. Also, when if the team is going to play offensively, which is in the beginning, they are going to show all the cards of them. And this is what give, you know, the other uh, teams the privilege to, to know their, you know, their, their cards, how they are going to play. So this is exactly abstract what's going to maybe to happen, which is I'm going to really to be excited for this because it's going to be like a huge if they really think about it and to be creative to do how to deal with this. Yeah. So we can pretty much expect that there may be a meta shift regarding on uh, regarding how the players want to play the game. So there are two ways to play this uh, to, to play the Free Fire EMEA Invitational right now. Yes. It's either to play on the heads or the tails. Now let me elaborate a little bit more about that. Right? Mm -hmm. To play on the heads basically means that you would want to go all out for the preliminary rounds and get yourself four points or eight points you know somewhere around that line right you will get additional points to roll over yes. or do you want to play tails and that means that you don't do anything in the preliminary rounds you play absolutely defensive you don't try to show anything when it comes to uh your team fire tactics when it comes to your kind of communication or how you usually drop that's tail so yes. honestly what 
is going to be the better way of playing. Mm -hmm. For me, to be honest, abstract, I'm going to go with the tail. Why? Mm -hmm. So playing offens offensively can show all the cards, like I mentioned before, to the other teams, which is, can hit them hard at the finals, unless, which is unless, if they make it on purpose with a plan B, they are going to win the finals. So I would go definitely with the tail. Be smart, be, move fast, and also be creative. And you will win the finals easily. I That's see. my answer. Okay, we've got a really nice point of view coming from Valka Valley. So here's where we can have a really nice debate, right? Because you have chosen tail after flipping that uh, flipping that coin. So now I'm gonna flip that coin as well. It lands on head. Here's my understanding when it comes to playing on heads, right? Yeah. You would want to play aggressively in the early stages of the game, or rather within the preliminary rounds. And that pretty much means that you will be able to get a snowball when it comes to points. Four points for day one, four points for day two, you can get, a, you get yourself up with a cumulative amount of eight points. And those points may make it or break the game. It, will, it may send you all the way from the middle of the uh, leaderboards all the way to the top of the leaderboards. You don't yeah. really know. And we have seen a lot in many times, you know, we fire uh, Pro League, we're, uh, we're looking at EMEA side, any yes. kinds of uh, major leagues. Yes. Small little points like this, they definitely make a difference. And we are talking about Free Fire Battle Royale after all, right? Yeah. If we are talking about, you know, ultimate squads, flash squads, maybe, yes, I would agree uh, when it comes to picking out the enemy's tactics and play against them with the tactics because you know exactly who you're dealing with. Exactly. Uh, Battle Royale though, <laughs> yeah, you don't exactly know who you're dealing with, are you? <laughs> exactly, exactly abstract. So you are like mentioning about, you know, uh, differences. Like let's say, for example, I'm going to say which is I represent, which is Mina. So especially in FFWS or FFAS or even the FFAL, which is Arab League, they always keep the last bite at the end. After they started other teams, their offenses, defense, what's the most common weapons, etc. They strike back hard. And to be exact, at the last round, and this is really, I always see this abstract, which is when other teams show all their cards, they suddenly mm -hmm. lose, which is exactly what happened, which is we saw, which is in the uh, FFWS and also, also FFAS, which is all stars. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, okay. So there are definitely some points of entry when it comes to tactics as well. At least for me, when it comes to uh, FFPL or rather in the European side, right? We don't really see much of a change in terms of playstyle. When when we're looking at Team A, they will always play a certain way. When yeah. we are looking at Team B, they will always play a certain way. Because they can't exactly adapt to the situation and you can't exactly get all the information that you need during that small period of time when you are in a, when you are engaging in a firefight. The only time that you will know who you're dealing with is if you have knocked someone down on the opponent's side or your team has been knocked down by the opponents. And by the time you realize, oh crap, we're dealing with Team A, <laughs> By that time, it you could be it could be too late for you to adopt those kind of strategies that Correct. you were talking about, or rather, your team were talking about in executing. That's that's my point of view, at least. Yes, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm. You know, I, I I'm with this. I'm with this. You know, like what we saw, uh, abstract. You know, um, many tactics, many strategies. Communication is the most. Uh, you know, uh, number one also for me because you know that the, the, the leader he must speak well with the with the other you know players. So everything everything play a role, and this is where makes it unique. And with the head start point, it makes it makes it very special. This is my answer. The head start point thing though, that is quite a curveball. I gotta have to say, I am very stoked for the Free Fire EMEA Invitational solely because of that. Nothing. This is not anything that you'll be able to see out there. So ladies and gentlemen, make sure you gr grind, drill that information into your head. There are two rounds. Let me break it down for you guys again. And Machiavelli, if I'm wrong, let me know. Yeah, don't. <laughs> there are going to be two rounds. Preliminary rounds and the actual round. In the preliminary rounds, it's pretty much all about rolling over points. You yeah. want to play well, you want to play bad, it's all up to you. If you play well, you get points that will be rolled over to the main game. And if you don't get any points, well, you keep some tactics for yourself. 
know. Yeah. It really depends on how you want to play here, which is why we will call this playing heads or tails. So, like what we mentioned, and we are going to repeat this again because this is unique, this is special, this is the first time we have this. So imagine he will go to the finals with 8 points. If he play well, of course, which is with the second round or the second day in the preliminaries. So imagine he will go to the final, which is... But, the you know, the weak point in here, Abstract, which is he, the team who is going to get the eight points of course he's going to show all his cards of course he's going to show all his tactics all his strategies to the final which is he's going to be like in a very weak position because other teams are going to be able to understand him how he played especially when he reached the finals so it will be a very competitive you know and very 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 hard like you know like strike him in the head and in the neck sorry so this is going to be you know amazingly which is uh amazing if the team uh being creative being like uh, think out of the box with the eight points moving to the finals but he know how to deal with the other teams or oh, this we are going to like to see something which is amazingly which is amazing yes well speaking of amazing i'm pretty sure that <laughs> all of the players out there are looking at this amazing graphics as well because i'm pretty sure that the graphics have uh, appeared somewhere before and yeah let you guys understand more about the format with this graphic. So no problem if you can't catch up with us. We've got that. We've got uh we've got you covered. Um and to set things straight and I gotta have to say thank you so much over to Market Valley. Uh you gave me quite a lot of insights and it thank has you. been very entertaining, very supportive on that part. Uh, I gotta have to see though if whether getting eight points is equals to throwing all of your tactics out and yeah. the ace in your sleeve. We gotta have <laughs> to see how that is gonna go. So, exactly. Survivors, you gotta have to answer that question for yourself. Are you gonna be playing on the heads or are you going to play, be playing onto the tails? Make sure you guys let us know. Now, maybe don't let us know because you gotta keep those tricks in your sleeves, huh? But do <laughs> let us know what you want to say in the comments. Do you agree with us? Do you agree with me? Or do you agree with Makavali? Is heads better or is tails better? But in the end, which one you want to execute is all entirely up to yourself. This is only episode one of the podcast. We still have two more episodes to go. I'll tell you guys a little bit more as the time go, uh, grows closer. But as a small little hint, get, uh, podcast number two will feature a pro player. So if you want to find out more, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you like us and also, you know, make sure you like, uh, below, like yeah. the video. <laughs> yes, just like it. Uh, ring, the dumb, uh, ring, ring the bell so that you will be... Uh, notified whenever a video comes up. And with that all said and done, my name is Abstract. We've been here in Machiavelli. Thank we'll you. We'll see you again soon. Support.